Hello everyone, and uh, this time we're gonna show you the AMX 30B. A lot of you will be interested in this tank since this is new, and why not? Let's have a look at this. So this game is an absolutely fantastic game. So you get, you see, even in chat, 30B is medium. <laughs> okay, he doesn't even know it's a medium. No SPG. <laughs> oh my lord, a T54. How experienced is he? Uh, not very. Okay. So okay. So he is very, of course, experienced. Ozzy, um, with 47, 47k. I just said it. 47. Game played. He must have spent like half of his life playing this every day. Oh my lord, forty-seven thousand. And and he's not like the bot players who doesn't who just dies and like quits, then play another game right after. He's not those type of players. As you can see, he does take this game seriously. Otherwise, he wouldn't be having three thousand or more win eight, which is phenomenal actually. Anything above. 1,500 is 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 a very good uh, actual line. Let's say I draw the line between 1,500 to 1,800. Uh, the the good players, and then if you can get above that, then uh, obviously you're way above the the national average. All right, let's talk about the 30B. So. You have to get it from the 3090. I I have the 3090 right now in my garage, and I do I want to get the 30B? Well, yes, because I haven't got a Leopard. I don't have a Type 61, and I don't have a STB. So I think this tank is the perfect choice to grind. But I'm still grinding both Leopard and the STB. I don't know if that's a good choice now because since the 30B seems to be like 10 million times better, is it even worth? Invest, investing so much time and effort to grind the other tanks. Uh, not that sure. Uh, I am a fan of mediums. Uh, just to sh tell you, I think mediums are very versatile in terms of that they can do so much, so many different type of jobs that uh, another type of tank wouldn't be able to. Like a heavy, it can tank, but it can't scout. But medium tank can do all that. So you can see he is in a very aggressive spot, but. He's not getting punished for it, so uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad move. He's he's marking his shots with perfection. Uh, to be honest, w without even zooming in that much, that is just perfect. The shell velocity very good, as you can see, hits the target relatively easily. The tiger too was tunnel visioning so long, he could have s did done some damage to the 30B here. He doesn't do it, so as you can see, he respots him by moving away from that bush in front of him. And that is what makes the difference between a good player and a unicorn player. He knows how to work the terrain just a lot better than I can do, for example. And he nails that Tiger 2 with an engine shot, which is decent. So yeah, he, he's just making fun of the Tiger 2 there. He's on 4 kills, 3k damage already. And as we can see, he has got 10 round of heat, three, 2 round of HE, and the rest of the PCR, and he, he is bossing this tank. He absolutely loves this tank, as you can see. He's got large repair kit, large med kit, and also uh, the, the strong coffee the the French gets, uh, which is, I think, uh, very expensive, actually. But if, if he's rich, he's, he can run it. Currently, um, I got like economic <laughs> problems here and there. All third world countries' problems, so I can't uh, certainly afford to to be using coffees around. But yeah, he's already got the 30, 30 B, so it shows you how much he's been playing or how much he actually free XP here. Yeah, I don't know, but he certainly is. He is actually, in fact, uh, a very, I say, active player. Otherwise, he wouldn't be getting this uh, 30 B that this quickly anyway. Um, he's either playing it a lot. Like professionals, but all he's just for XP, and as I said, but I, I I doubt players like him would actually grind a tank stock. Even I, free XP, every single tank almost to at least semi fully upgraded. I never play it fully stock. Fully stock is just you know when I have below seven K games, I used to do that, but after that you you can't do that anymore. It is so annoying.
playing stock tanks. And as you can see, the Tiger 2 just gets eaten up by this DPM here. It is truly f fantastic to have uh, a 105 with this kind of rate of fire and of course fitted with also a very mobile chassis. As you can see, the team just seems to vaporize. What are they doing? He's done 7,000, yet these teams still not really winning this. It's, 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 it's just weird, right? He, he expect his team to be winning so hard because he is on 7,500 damage. Probably less, let's say 8,000 8, right now. He does do over 10, 10k for a spoiler. <laughs> he does do that, but it's a matter of does he win or not, we see. You can see the precision of this gun just makes some other medium tanks like the 121 seem like a joke. And also this thing has a decent punch as well, 390 Alpha is, is nothing to joke around about, especially when your standard round are APCR, that is phenomenal. And also, even with the heat, the heat has quite a uh, quite a penetration as well. So if you do need it, <coughs> in any case, then it would still, of course, be useful. Let's let's call it that. So he's loading with heat, perfectly understandable right now, since lower plate is what he's aiming for. And come on, Ferdinand, please no cap. You can't allow this game to finish like this. Come on. Or, or are they going to cap? I, I think so. The enemy IS3 is on. IS3 are not doing the right thing. The IS3 obviously is. I think it's bugged because there's only one IS3 on the team list, but somehow this it shows us to down down the range. I don't know, but anyway, come on, nail the kill on that guy. Nine kills, and they cap out. But seriously, he could have easily just whipped their ass and got all the kills if needed. Uh, but that's not really gonna happen in this game. So you done 10k damage. Uh, well, you did a few blind shots. You haven't seen, of course. You even secured a kill blindly. So, uh, of course, the real value is between one t is between 10,000 something. Uh, so this game is absolutely fantastic. It really showcased the ability for the 30B to take opponents apart from up, up, from a distance. Um, which is very comfortable to be honest to have such feature on a tank uh, with a decent DPM and uh, decent workability with the gun since the gun depression is minus 8 so uh, it is a fantastic tank overall so I will certainly be interested in getting one of, the, one of them but will it be nerfed is my big question because let's say when the Leopard came out, everyone was like, oh my god, Leopard is so good. Then the STB-1 came out. Then STB-1 beats the Leopard in some, in most circumstances, is considered as a better tank. Then you get the, uh, the, the, the 30B, well, 30B is better than both of them, so... Wh where, where does Wargaming draw the line, you know? If every single tank comes out, it's most, most, li most likely to be better than the existing ones would we would this game be a pay to win or let's say grind to win where the the more grind the, the better tank you the more new tanks you grind um, you keep keep up to date the better chance for you to win is it the case um not certainly in wargaming's case they wouldn't probably argue like this because the fe 4000 something, the, 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 the 183 version which has no armor, that that thing, uh, well, that shit, but look at the other tanks being introduced recently, they've been better than, than the uh, counterparts uh, of similar type, uh, of similar class, uh, which already exist in the game, so I'm not sure, you see RU251 introduced better than WZ, better than uh, 3090, better than all of them, I, I, I don't understand now, it's just... It seems like all the new tanks are just so much superior than the old ones, like Walker Bulldog trash trashes the, the 1375 by a mile. So tell me what you think about, about that in the comments, and we shall see you next time.